This computer is programmed to read the London phone book. From more than a million entries in the directory, it will scan 100 pages a second and, in a matter of seconds, reveal the names and addresses of everyone on the phone in any one street. Pretty useful information, that, for many people, from salesmen to burglars, thanks to the speed and power of today's computers and the way in which they use information about us, and not always for the purpose it was originally meant. OK, that was just one example. But it's this traffic in personal information, often international, that's led to increasing pressure for some sort of supervision. Hence, the government's proposition to set up a data registry, which will require users of computer data banks to reveal what they're doing with that information. It's also supposed to give us the right to know what people are saying about us, which for the most part we don't yet have. But will it? Because a great deal of the information that's whizzing around the world is in such a complex code that it's virtually uncrackable. For instance, say I want to tell a colleague in Los Angeles what I had for breakfast. OK, sausages. Now, first the computer jumbles the letters up to disguise the fact that it's an English word at all, and then it turns each letter into eight digits of computer code. And that's 64 in all. And then it takes each block of 64 digits and changes them round again using a complicated code called an algorithm. And this second set of 64 digits is now so well disguised that only I and the person I want to get the message to can understand it, because only he and I hold the key. And if you tried to crack the code without the key, you'd find yourself staring at two to the power of 56 possibilities. And that, I'm here to tell you, is 72,857 billion. An awful lot of possibilities, and each one as likely as any other. So, many people are deeply suspicious that all the government's really done is to come up with a token gesture that's just sufficient to allow us to comply with European regulations, which UK firms must do if they want access to European data banks. Now, you might think there must be a computer somewhere to crack that sausage code quickly. You'd be wrong. Even the biggest mainframe computers around today would take more than a million years to come up with the answer.